Did Edison really invent the light bulb? And is it true that he said that he didn't fail 10,000 times, he just discovered 10,000 ways it didn't work? Do you want answers now? Well, be patient. Let's ask one other question. Could he have invented it in one try? Welcome to Every Day, A New Thought. I'm Thor Chalgren. Today, I'm gonna to explore the famous quote about Thomas Edison and the light bulb. You've probably heard the quote. It goes something like this. He said, I have not failed 10,000 times. I've successfully found 10,000 ways that will not work. So today we're gonna to explore the question if Edison really did fail 10,000 times. First, a couple of facts. He didn't invent the light bulb. <laughs> the light bulb already existed. Now, what is true is that he created a particular kind of filament that would last longer. Apparently, the one that he ultimately created lasted like 1,200 hours. Second point, his famous quote about not having failed 10,000 times, it's not actually apparently about the light bulb. It was actually thought that it was about another... Um, invention of his, uh, some kind of battery. Also, it wasn't 10,000 times with respect to the light bulb. It was actually closer to 2,800 experiments to create this bamboo filament lamp. That's what he actually created. It was a, a specific kind of filament that lasted longer. So what do we make of this? First, 2,800 experiments to make something work is still a lot. <laughs> Think about how many times you would actually have the stamina to stay with something to figure out how to make it work. If it's less than 2,800, let's not ding him for not you know being 10,000 or whatever it is. 2,800 experiments is still a lot. I know if you said to me that I would have to stay with something 2,800 times to make it work, that's a big ask. The second point, and perhaps a more interesting question is, could he have invented it in one try? You know, when we think about the universe, the quantum field, we know that every single possible outcome is out there. So is it possible that he could have been guided to the first of the 28 or the one that actually did work? Like, let's say it's 2778. Could he have been guided to that one right away? It's a good question. And I've thought about this in our own lives and things that we create. I wrote a book last year and there was a lot of work that went into the writing of that book. And I've often thought about that process and thought, is it possible that the final exact proof read, proof written copy of that book that I could have just sat down and written that. I suppose it's possible because if what we know about the quantum field is that every possibility is out there, the possibility could exist that Thor could sit down and write that book exactly word for word and have it be the one that, that ultimately came through other methods. Now, do I believe that's possible? That's, I think, where the great mystics of history had something up on perhaps many of us is they believed it was possible. They knew that they had a consciousness such that they could know something was happen and then it just was. And there was no doubt in their mind. They could have said, you know what? I know that I could sit down and write that book right away. I know that I could invent that light bulb after one try. So as we go forward, Edison was someone that we now know wasn't 10,000 times, but it was still a lot. And for me, that is a great model for perseverance. And the second point is know that, that sometimes things can be easier than what you think they will be. Thank you for watching the show today. I hope you liked it. And if you did, please hit like. And also, if you want to see this every day, please hit subscribe. Thank you so much. I'll see you tomorrow.